Greetings from the Grand Canyon. We finally wanted to introduce you to Big Papa. Come on in, y'all. tour two months into full-time van life we wanted to do this a little earlier but it's just hard to find the time to get in and get it all clean this is not nor it's not normally this clean we've given you the clean version today it's yep. it normally is a little crazy but a little bit of a train wreck sometimes <laughs> but we small manage space. small space <laughs> so this is the boring part this is the front of the house this is where megan and i drive and sit and um <laughs> so you know the seats swivel which is nice it gives you a lot of space when we do park um, and now we'll show you the rest of it. Before we show you the rest of it, we just wanted to shout out Future Roads Van Co. out of Denver. They are absolutely amazing. They're the ones who did this build and we couldn't be happier loving living in this thing full time. So now let's show you a little bit of the rest. All right. All right, big thing for us since we're traveling with our kids is we have to be able to sit them somewhere. And that's really hard because a lot of seats creates not a lot of space. So. We came up with this design. Um, I don't even know the company that makes it, but whoever they are, they're magicians. Because uh, the seats, their seat sits up like this when we are parked and traveling. And then all we have to do when it's time to roll is pop it up like that. Boom. Uh, it's all the way fastened all the way to the chassis of the car. So it's secure, it's safe, and helps eliminate and create a lot of space for us when we're just sitting around. So this is one of our daughters and she wanted to show you something kind of unique about the van. So one of our number one questions is, how do we go to the bathroom? Now, this is the toilet right here. And it just comes out on a slider. Heavy duty yeah. sliders. Yeah, heavy duty sliders. It can fit my fat butt. And the other thing is, it's number one only. Number one only, we've had a few close calls but it's number one only in this bad boy okay so and then it with it's got fresh water it flushes it does all that stuff slide it back in. voila all right guys this is this is my area of the house it's where i like to be the kitchen so um, we make all of our meals here we've got a two burner induction stove um and refrigerator it actually fits a weird amount of things we can fit several days worth of food in here and we can fit some things in the freezer right now we have some girl scout cookies in there um we also can fit quite a bit of stuff in our drawers that's kind of our pantry our coffee maker um pots and pans blender and of course all of our silverware and that kind of stuff um Let's see, what else can we want? Oh, here's our control panel up here. This is where we get, we can watch our energy levels and our water tank levels and all that. Um, how we turn our water on. Um, let's see, what else? Um, here's where we keep all of our dishes and our spices and Tupperware and all that. So, yep, that's the kitchen. And this is the back of the house. This is Megan and I's bed. Um, it's also kind of a sitting area during the day. And I would say that we are not necessarily the types of people that like to make our bed every day. But unfortunately, in a tiny home, you kind of have to. So uh, at night, when we're ready to go to bed, this thing comes off and rests here on these, these little notches that are on the bed here. Um, and can also move out of the way like that. And then we have this little hidden compartment, Secret which has... Room some added uh, slats that go here to create what is basically a king size bed. Uh, one of the things again that loved about Future Roads and what they tried to do is at 6'3", it is hard for me to uh, move around in this space a little bit, but when this bed is fully made, um, I can fit all the way through with my feet fully laid out and I uh, don't have to sleep in a little tiny ball even though I sleep that way anyways. So. Um, these, uh, these two side cushions become the middle part of the bed, and then we use a comforter at night to wrap around the sheets and keep everything clean. And uh, we've also got two nice big windows out here to get some airflow. 
We have a fan up top, which uh, will help direct some air in and through to get you a nice breeze. And then we have these nice little kind of uh, nooks here in the back where we can store the books we're reading, our journals. Um, you know, you got reading lights on each side. So at night when the kids are asleep, we can have a little bit of light back here and not keep the whole place awake. The other thing is you got Megan's side of drawers, which doop, I'm not sure if it's clean. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Um, you got three drawers for clothes. And surprisingly, we have fit a tremendous amount of clothes in here. More than um, we need. Way more than we need. But I would say we have two or three weeks worth of clothes here in our in our places. So there's mine, my side, t-shirts, pants and stuff. It's very well organized. All right, another thing that we, another decision that we had to make was do we make the girls' beds stationary or do we do something that like hangs from the ceiling? We wanted them to have their own space. So I thought I'd introduce you to our other daughter, Avery. Hi, my name is Avery. And um, me and Emerson's favorite part of the van, we were so excited, was the bunk beds. The wallpaper is great because this is the kind of like the sky on the top. Emerson has the mountains on the bottom, which is super cool. And did and you I, guys pick it out yourself? And we picked it out ourselves because they gave us a choice. Mm -hmm. and. We want to give a shout out to Lisa Elson Peter. She custom fitted our sheets for us and blankets. And so. Yeah. Awesome. And by the way, speaking of bunk beds, where's Emerson? <laughs> Hi, this is my bunk. What do you like about your bunk? Um, I like how I have the trees in my wallpaper. And um, I also like about how I have these curtains that they help me sleep great. Um, they do block out just a little bit of noise and gives me darkness to sleep. Um, we have these lamps for, so like um, when I wanna read and other, other people just don't want like too much light, uh, I could have my own light to myself. All right, we also love the storage that they've um, put in here for us. Here's where the girls store all their, their clothes. We've got two big drawers. It fits quite a bit of stuff. That one's not very um, tidy right now. And then there's also this other little fun secret door. It's more pantry space or just whatever. All right, one of our last favorite surprises that our builders did for us, um, total surprise, was this little, um, secret door down here and it pops open and we can store about four bottles of wine which is amazing especially when you're living in a van with four people and kids so yeah <laughs> another thing that we're super impressed with with future roads van co is um just the way they use every little bit of space like this for instance it's on a magnet it's extra storage for like our shower shoes and our flip-flops and that kind of thing and it just they just go right in there and that extra itty bitty little space and it's awesome if you come to the back this door opens all the way you get a nice view on the days that we want to open up the back uh, in here we have an external shower uh, which will uh, pump water from our water tank we haven't used it yet we probably won't use it except to maybe wash off some feet for some sand um, you've also then got whoo lost the pillow also then got some space for storage it goes pretty far back there so we got things like our water hoses we got some gloves for the kids to play with and then this is just a uh, box for it doesn't want to open this is just a box for all the fuses um, in case one were to blow uh, behind this we have all the battery power all of the um, electrical that the van runs on and on this side is about a 26 30 gallon water tank as well as a water heater for the shower or for the sink. Um, again, haven't used that yet, but um, may use that as we get farther into the summer. So there's more technical things about the electricity, but I don't really even know it yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. All right, so that was the tour of Big Papa. We hope you loved it. Thanks for watching. If there's anything we missed that you'd like to see, let us know. Um, but now it's time for dinner, so. Time to make dinner. Yum, 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 yum. Bye. Bye. See you next time. See you next time.